Hello, this is Benedict Radcliffe, um, and I am in my London studio. Uh, you can see a third scale 935 wireframe behind me. This is made out of 4 mil wireframe. And on the wall, you can see some of my other work. So I was asked about two years ago by Ward Morgan to produce the work for the museum, which I was absolutely thrilled about to be asked, and to produce such an iconic car, uh, a, a classic American muscle car. Um, which I didn't really know too much about, but um, during the process of producing the work, I, I certainly learned a lot about it and the history of the car. So I made the Plymouth Superbird um, from just under half inch mild steel round bar in a workshop in Peterborough, about two hours drive from my London studio and I work with a company called Automated Wire Bending who helped me produce the piece of work due to the size and the thickness of the steel. In the past when I've made my other cars they've been made out of 10 millimeter which is slightly thinner and I was I'm able to bend this by myself obviously using acetylene and heat but mainly I'm, I was able I'm able to produce them myself. Because of the size of the Plymouth, I decided to work with this company who I ha already have a good relationship with. Um, we've worked on a few projects together and we were able to use their machines and also their expertise in producing the work. So I started off with a 8 foot by 16 foot datum table, flat wooden datum table. And I used plans and sections of the car with lots of photographic reference material of the Plymouth to produce the car and it took us about three months three and a half months to produce um, lots of bending lots of standing back lots of looking at it um, and there wasn't that many lines to work with so we had to be quite clever and economical with the lines um, a lot of the, the rod was welded together, was TIG welded together, and then we powder coated the whole car uh, green. So it was an inter in interesting project, as I said, using slightly thicker material, which meant visually the sculpture was slightly bo more bolder looking. Um, and due to the size of the material but it was quite tricky because it was so hard and getting some of the complex curves and the tight curves um, was quite difficult the only way we could have really done it was using the, the machines that we had to use these clever CNC machines um, but as I said it was very it was a real honor to be able to produce something for the museum anyway I really hope you enjoy it um, but very unusual times at the moment um, and um, I hope the, uh, the, the, the Dream Car Collection grows in strength and um, brings people together, car lovers and other people alike. So yeah, all the best. Greetings from um, London. Take care. Bye.
resting place there. Temporary resting place. I already had video. <laughs> Did not fall that rule. <laughs> <laughs>